Hello everybody, it's Jacob from Georgian Chevrolet, located at 65 Berryview Drive, right next to the Home Depot. And today I'm going to be going over some of the very cool features that Apple CarPlay does have to offer, as well as some of the other little features that it has and how it can benefit you. So we are going to start off by, well, introducing the vehicle we're in. So I'm sitting in the 2017 GMC Acadia Denali. Um, but in any scenario though, if your screen has that projection icon there, that means that your vehicle is Apple CarPlay uh, available or ready. And so to get started, you're going to want to make sure that you have your charger and make sure it's imported into the USB port down there. And then we're going to actually plug the phone in. There we go. The phone does turn on and then the phone will recognize that it is in Apple CarPlay mode. So now we're going to unlock the phone here. And now on the screen, you'll realize that the pro project, <laughs> sorry, projection icon has now changed to the Apple CarPlay icon. So we're going to press that. And here we have the Apple CarPlay interface. So it's pretty basic and pretty normal if you obviously have an uh, Apple device, so it won't take long to get used to how it looks. So we start off with a phone icon here and this will bring up, calling? this will bring up Siri and now Siri will always activate first um, because it wants to make sure that you are keeping your hands off of the screen to make sure you're talking to it so it can work with you. But if you do want to do anything manual, go over to show contacts and then you have your favorites, recents, contacts. You can mentally enter in a number via keypad right here. And then you can also access your voicemails as well. There's a home button down here in the lower left hand corner to take you back to this screen. Uh, another thing to know to talk about home buttons is that if you press this home button here, it'll take you back to your regular interface. But for now, we're going to stay within the Apple CarPlay one. We also have music apps here. So if we click that, we do have um, a song. I only have the one song right now. But you can scroll down. If you have many other songs, you can go into your songs here and obviously scroll through any of the uh, other songs that you have. You got Apple Maps, so I'm going to press that, and here you can see that you do have also navigation here, so that's very nice. Obviously, you have to have the um, location setting enabled on your phone so that the vehicle knows where you are, but at least you do have navigation within here. You can zoom out, zoom in, and choose different locations. We have messages over on this side. To and, whom should I send your message? And again, Siri will activate first, making sure that you are keeping your hands um, on the wheel and not pressing anything on the screen. Just trying to make sure that you're not too distracted. But again, you can hit show messages and you can go through things man uh, manually and look at messages manually as well. We have another music playing app. This is just the same as my music, has the same songs. Uh, you have your podcast app, audiobooks, and it does support some other apps. So if you download Spotify, Spotify will also show up down here. And then from here, I can go into uh, my library. Uh, my library, here we go, songs. And then I can also just scroll through all the different songs that I have and play whatever I like. Now, it isn't just within the uh, uh, screen here because there are some cool features that you got on the phone. Please do this before you're moving. So if I move over to the phone now and you press the settings and then you go into general, there's a little CarPlay icon there. So I'm gonna press that and I'm gonna go into the Intel link. And so from this screen, you can now actually delete some of the apps that you want from the screen up there. Or from here, you'll also be able to see what apps are showing up on the screen. So if you have more apps, you can scroll over and uh, see what apps are over there. And obviously you'll be able to scroll over on this screen if, you had, if I had many more apps. Uh, I could just scroll over and select whatever apps I want, but if there's some apps I do not want, all I have to do is hit that minus button and they will be gone from the system. So there you have it, a quick little video just letting you know about some of the very cool features that this Apple CarPlay has to offer and how it can benefit you, making sure that you are keeping your eyes on the road as much as possible, as well as making change, changing songs, making phone calls, just a little bit more convenient for you if you must do so. So if you do want this integrated into your vehicle, just please talk to anybody at George and Chevrolet and we'll be sure to help you out.